What's up YouTube, it's Kefan here. And when I was back home for the holidays, I busted this box with my dad. Look at that, 2013 Panini Golden Age. 24 packs, six card per pack. Another very nice Panini products. I like what Panini's doing, even without their uh, baseball license. Came with this real nice Grace Kelly. Box topper. That is in the old exhibits style of <laughs> the old uh, cards that would uh, come from the arcade vending machines. That one just fell behind the table. <laughs> and I got a big stack of base cards. So I did not get a single duplicate in this entire box, which is great. So there's lots of famous and not so famous uh, baseball players in here and famous Americans such as Henry Ford there's the Hall of Famer Joe Tinker there's presidents and there's athletes from other sports so just a great set real nice looking cards real nice looking backs and it's just a great uh, box to bust Unsinkable Molly Brown. She was one of the survivors of the Titanic. And yeah, lots of fun to bust this with my dad. Of course, he knew a lot of the uh, actors and actresses and um, politicians and other famous Americans. My dad was a state archaeologist for 27 years. He's now retired, but... Uh, Always been interested in history, so figured this would be a great box to bust, and it sure was. It was lots of fun, and it was uh, nice to bust something where you're not worried about getting that big mojo hit to pay for your big expensive box. You just uh, bust it because you enjoy opening packs and uh, looking at nice cards. There's a nice Herbert Hoover there. So I think this is a 150 card uh, base set. And I should probably just uh, get on Just Commons and complete this set. Because um, I got pretty close. Fairly close, I guess. And with the no duplicates, that's great. Excellent uh, collation by Panini. There's Sea Biscuits. Legendary race horse. I'm Ryan Tricky. Actually, I probably do not have a Branch Ricky card for my Hall of Fame set. Hall of Fame PC, I should say. So, well, that'll be nice. I've kind of haven't really worked on that Hall of Fame PC in a while. I should get out that old checklist and see. Just trying to get a card of every. Uh, Hall of Famer to uh, manage or play Major League Baseball. I was going to do it that way because there's a lot of uh, other people that are in the Hall of Fame. So, I have to see. I just remembered that I forgot my uh, minis. <laughs> my minis are in my binder. And I think that's sitting nearby, so I should be able to grab that. Uh, I think there was a mini every pack. In fact, I know there was. There's a nice Alan Hale, a little Gilligan. Mario Andretti, what up, Woods Racing? So, like I said, kind of like some lesser known uh, baseball players, also, which is cool. Um, you know, I'm sure there's people that were big, big stars back in the 40s or 50s or whatever that, uh, since they didn't get into the Hall of Fame, you know, they're not so well known these days, so it's good to get cards of them for show the Henry Winkler action Jane Brady nice Ted Simmons there so fly through this other pile of base cards here there's a Gerald Ford So nice stuff, a real good idea for a set. They should do this again. 
I'm not sure if they've done it before. I don't think so. So uh, they should do it again. I would look forward to getting some 2014 Panini Golden Age. Evil can evil. Very nice. Nice George Britt. So lots of nice stuff. We, uh, my dad and I put together uh, pretty much new everybody, or at least heard of them. Pretty much. There was a few oddballs in here, but uh, put together. There's a nice John Belushi. Tommy John surgery. Nice Steve Stone, former uh, Cubs announcer. Nice Pete Rose. Of course, Pete Rose is like banned from Topps products or some shit. Banned from baseball, and I think somehow Topps has him banned or something. So, anyway, there's the base uh, set. I'll show some inserts here. Real nice. Bread for energy, these die cuts. Those are made after some uh, tip top bread. There's one that actually says Tip Top, that's real nice, and Mel Ott, very nice. And then these DeLong Gum Company cards, Rocky Marciano. Lou Gehrig's probably, I don't know if it's his rarest card or his, you know, best card or whatever, but Lou Gehrig has a really nice uh, DeLong Gum Company card back in the day. We got a couple of headlines here. A nice Three Stooges, a pain in the Pullman. And then these real nice playing cards that have really nice uh, fronts and backs. Ace of Spades, Jerry Lewis. <laughs> nice Bob Denver there. Another Sea Biscuit, another Richard Petty. Carol Lombard. Elizabeth Montgomery. Jim Bottomley, Hall of Famer. And another Rocky Marciano, so I really like those uh, playing card inserts. Oh, I better go grab those minis here. Picked up some uh, mini pages. So I was putting some minis into a binder here. And I got them right here. So the two minis, uh, the two mini backs that I got are Carolina Brights and the uh, baseball caramels from the uh, Jesus E96. I should know that. E90 <laughs> from the baseball caramels. So there's the backs. The red is the short print. And there they are. So show these minis real nice there. Nice to get a mini in every pack. Nice Al K line there and a Lou Boudreau. So there's uh, the back once again along with the original E90 set one. Caramel back in the background there. And then this real nice, I really like this, Carolina Brights. It's really cool. Evidently when Topps uh, bought the rights or whatever to do the T206 set, they uh, didn't uh, copyright the backs or all the brands. Anyway, that's real cool to see a uh, Carolina Brights back. I really like it. And the purple one, the short print, is Eve Plum of uh, Jan Brady. So that's cool. You got a nice Gil Hodges there. And Bigfoot and Pete Rose. And one uh, Bad News Bears also. So real nice to get those minis. This is really a great box of cards for show. And then uh, I got two autographs. Barry Livingston from the TV show My Three Sons. So there's only supposed to be one autograph and one relic, so I got an extra autograph. Tommy Davis, and he played for the Dodgers. Back-to-back -back lead hitting crowns in 62 and 63, so a famous uh, L.A. Dodger. That I had not, I wasn't too familiar with. I guess I'd heard of him. But, so that was nice to get the extra autograph. And then, the hit of the box for show, game used bat. 
Hall of Famer Lou Brock. And this card is thick. This is a hundred point screw down. And it barely fit into that. So it's huge. It's about twice as thick as a regular like jersey card or bat card. So real nice. Real nice for show. Lou Brock bat piece from 2013 Panini Golden Age. Thanks for watching.